This question, Maharshi, is on the meaning of an invincible man. Maharshi says that transcendental meditation and its group practice can raise any nation to invincibility. And Maharshi also says that transcendental meditation can raise any individual to a state of invincibility as well. I understand what it means for a nation to be invincible. That is a familiar phrase. But what does it mean for an individual to be invincible? Would he have no enemies? Or would the enemies he has be unable to overpower him? What would life be like for a person who is invincible? Invincibility will make a man fulfill his desires without obstacle, without great strain. There is one phrase in the Vedic literature that speaks of the invincibility of the individual, invincibility of a nation, invincibility of a world, and invincibility of the cosmic life, invincibility at every step. And what it says, heyam dukkham anagatam. Invincibility is that quality which is not disturbable by anything. On the individual level, this is applied to the ability to fulfill desire. I desire a thing, and the desire gets supported by natural law, and the desire is fulfilled. When the desire is fulfilled, then I am invincible. When the desire is not fulfilled, that I, then I am struggling to fulfill it, struggling. So this struggle is no more there in the field of invincibility. An individual is invincible when his desires get fulfilled. And fulfillment of desire is a phenomenon of the desire consciously created at the source of thought. Source of thought is a wave in the ocean of consciousness. That wave in the o ocean of consciousness is a wave of the ocean of consciousness. This is self-referral consciousness. So when one thinks from the self-referral level of consciousness, then that thought is like a wave completely one with the unbounded level of the ocean. So the wave is in perfect harmony with the source of all the waves, which is the ocean of intelligence, ocean of consciousness, its transcendental consciousness. So when one is able to think spontaneously from the level of transcendental consciousness, then he may be labeled as invincible because there is nothing that could obstruct him for what he desires. So invincibility to the individual is 
at the source of thought. Same invincibility is on a cosmic level of intelligence, individual level of intelligence and collective level of intelligence. Collective level of intelligence is cosmic level of intelligence. So, heyam dukkham anagatam, that avert the danger that has not yet come, this is on the level of invincibility, that is self-referral consciousness of the individual and the self-referral consciousness of the nation and the self-referral consciousness of the world, unified field of nations, and the self-referral consciousness of the universe. So invincibility is the same thing on the universal level, which is there on the world level, which is there on the national level, which is there on the social level, and which is there in the individual level. This is invincibility. And this invincibility is just that which I mentioned a minute ago, where total brain physiology functions. No aspect of the brain physiology is without participation in that sprouting of a desire. Sprouts. That desire is on a cosmic level. Spontaneously it gets fulfilled and that is the level of invincibility on the individual level, social level, national level, international level, global level, universal level, all levels, invincibility is invincibility. Wherever it is, it is the same invincibility which we say self-referral intelligence self-referral intelligence. Then, when we want to enjoy it, we say, light of God, self-referral intelligence. Unified field, the light of God, the light of bliss. Where is its nature is bliss. It's bliss. It's unobstructed by anything. It's unrestricted by anything. It is free from boundaries. It is unlimited infinity. That is unity consciousness. Consciousness where nothing is out of one's own awareness. Total value. This is transcendental consciousness. This is transcendental consciousness. The fundamental field of intelligence where all and everything is possible. All things are possible. Everything is possible. This is the level of invincibility and this is through practice. For practice, there is a scientific theory, theory of measurement. Wherever the attention goes, it enlivens the point of attention. It enlivens it. Enlivens it. It's the unmanifest field of reality, which then manifests through attention and is found 
on the level of activity through all the senses, eyes and all, all the five senses and five organs of action. It's an invincibility. This invincibility is a point of self-referral reality of one's own consciousness. And that is why being one's own possession is just a matter of attention just a matter of memory about it. You don't, you've forgotten it, you remember it, and it's there. That is why it is very, very simple, easy of achievement. And just, it needs some practice, and then it becomes, it comes on the level of action. Knowledge comes on the level of action. Intelligence becomes creative intelligence. It's just a matter of knowing it. Knowing it by being it. This is practice. Practice of transcendental meditation is advanced techniques, is advanced techniques proven by the flying technique. You, you, you think a thought and the thought gets materialized. You think of flying, there is a sutra, there are words. You think of those words and then the words become materialized instantly and instantly the body is up in the air. The body being up in the air indicates to whatever little extent commands over the force of gravity. This force of gravity is just a different name to unifying principle or unified principle, a unified state and unifying mechanics. So gravity is unifying and it shows in instant control over it, command over it, for whatever little time, which practice becomes more and more at home, becomes more and more at home with it. And what becomes more and more at home? Invincibility becomes more and more at home, more and more at home. This is on the individual level. Infinity on the individual level is the unit of infinity on the collective level, on the national level, international level, global level, universal level. It boils down to raising one's level to what we say unity consciousness. Unity consciousness. Behaving in the diversity but having predominance of the quality of unity. So it's unity consciousness. So the education has to be in order that one rises to the level of unity consciousness. And in unity consciousness, invincibility is a practical status. 
it is uh, it becomes a living reality invincibility to become a living reality and that we have found a group of 8000 or maybe one or two or three groups of 8000 people practicing yogic flying will have enough unifying influence in the global consciousness that invincibility will belong more and more to everyone on the practical level of action, on the practical level of doing, in one's thinking, in one's action, what will be dominating more and more through practice. Invincibility will be dominating more and more and more and more and more and more. Invincibility more and more and more and more. Unity consciousness it is called. Uh, life without that is like a like a dry desert and experience of it is like the oasis coming up in a desert, oasis in the desert. So we are going to have that education which will raise unity consciousness. And the unity consciousness rises from the waking state of consciousness to cosmic consciousness to God consciousness, to unity consciousness. Sequentially, it rises, it rises, it rises. It becomes more and more stabilized, that's all. It becomes more and more stabilized. 